Welcome back, it is collaboration time again. Yes. And if you haven't seen one of these, this is where we team up with some of our other RV YouTube content creator friends. Mm -hmm. And we all talk about the same topic on the same day, put them out at the same time, so that you get a bunch of ideas of some of the topics that we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, and this week we have some special guests. Yes, we do. We have Cody and Angela from Untethered joining yes. us on the collaboration. So make sure after you watch this video, you pop over and watch their video and all of these other great channels mm -hmm. and see what their take is on this month's topic, which is most used items in your RV. Yeah, and uh, I think that everybody's gonna have a bunch of different answers on this. Yeah. We're only talking about three. Yeah. We really didn't even discuss how many items we're talking about. No. So the other channels might be talking about a few more. We're only gonna talk about three. And so the first one is what? Okay. People who know us know this is a no-brainer. Yeah. Number one is the air fryer. Because we don't cook. <laughs> That's right. And the air fryer is just so easy. Uh. Which air fryer do we have? We have the Emerald Legacy French Door 360. Which is awesome. It's huge. It can fit a bunch of food. 28 quart. Yeah. So we put some big stuff in there. Yeah. We put a whole frozen pizzas in there. We can do two of the Cornish, Cornish game hens. Cornish yeah. And side by side. They come out amazing. Oh, they're amazing. They're great. Anything that you can buy like in the in the frozen food section, like at Walmart. Yeah. That you put in there, I'm talking like pizza rolls, corn dogs, um, french fries steaks. all that stuff comes Garlic out nice bread. and crunchy just like it comes out of the oven yeah but you don't have to wait on the oven to preheat and all that stuff yeah and my favorite is it brings food back to life yes because i'm not a leftover guy no nope. i don't eat leftovers i never have but since we mm -hmm. got the air fryer i mean even you bring like french fries home normally you heat them up they're soggy you bring wings home, they're not crispy, crispy anymore. anymore. You bring pizza home and the crust is limp and soggy yeah. and you just don't want to eat it. No. But it brings it back to life like you just got served at the restaurant. Yes. And so I'm like, man, and I'm a wing guy. Yes. Wings are my go-to. Yeah. We do a lot of wings <laughs> in the air fryer. So the air fryer is definitely, definitely. Well, it's just, it's faster cooking because yeah. neither one of us want to be in the kitchen. and. It's just well, convenient. You don't got to babysit it. You put yeah, it in there, you hit go, and, and then it beeps when it's ready to yeah. be turned, or it beeps when it's ready to come out. It's yes. just it's just easy. Yes, we couldn't live without it. Yeah. The next most used item is primarily used, well, it's used by both of us, but mostly we got it because, because of me. Of you. And that's our Blue Tech water filtration system because I'm a water snob. And the softener. And the softener, yeah. yeah. But I'm a water snob. I My water has to taste good, even if I get a good you bottled water and put it in if if I if an ice cube tastes funny right. it the will make the whole, whole, cup whole is it's gone trash. so ridiculous <laughs> we got this three stage water filtration system from blue tech it's awesome we've been using it for years now and i don't know all the science behind it but it filters down to like 0.2 microns which is yeah. like a blood cell yeah <laughs> so it filters out all the crap yes in your stuff the softener makes the water soft, yes. doesn't leave the spots on the stainless steel stuff, yes. on the sinks, and we used to have the, the shower doors, but we got yeah. rid of those, but it alleviates the spots, and it just makes you feel soft. Yeah, we like it. And it's nice. And they're doing this really cool thing right now. Yeah. They teamed up with Dennis Quaid. Yeah. He's hosting this documentary that they're showing. We'll leave a link down in the, in the description so you can go see this. It's pretty cool. It talks about, you know, the water and I'm stuff. I'm in it. Yeah, Leslie's, <laughs> Leslie is a cameo in there, and, uh, and during this time frame, which is the 15th to the 18th, I know this video is coming out on the 17th. So the rest of the today and all day tomorrow, you save 10% yeah. on all your Blue Tech stuff site wide. So we'll leave a link down in the description mm -hmm. also so that you can save that money. Just use our link. And if you're watching this after the 18th of July, that's okay. You can still use our link. You'll still save a little bit of money, but not quite the 10%. So yeah. jump on that and um, you won't regret it because the Absolutely Blue Tech not. system is worth it couldn't live without it all right last but not least our third most used item is my one of my faves yeah because i like to clean so it's the washer and dryer yeah it's just it's convenient i would not full-time rv without a washer and dryer yeah we just we we see people go into the laundry room and they're lugging the thing or they got it in a wagon or it's raining and they gotta yeah. take their laundry. They gotta check in the rain. on it. They gotta trust that nobody's gonna take their stuff out or mess with their stuff Sometimes or steal the their stuff. Sometimes the machines are crap. They don't work well. Your stuff isn't dry as 
good. Yeah, and you don't know what people are putting spun, in these things. The water's not spun out well enough. Yeah. And, it's just a pain in the butt. It's hit or miss, and I don't want to deal with it. And it could be like, you know, you're going to use the washing machine. Somebody just got done washing a dog bed in there. Yeah. So now your clothes are going to smell like wet dog. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just, and I don't, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm weird about using other people's stuff. stuff. Sharing you know? that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. It's just so nice to just throw in a load, go back to doing whatever I'm doing. And yeah. Get and it when it's done. These washers and dryers in the RVs, they're not huge. You can't do big loads, but on a rainy day, you just do, you know, several loads, you knock it out. Yeah, and I do them at night too when we're just sitting, catching up on emails or watching a show. I do laundry. Yeah, and you don't got to worry about going over there or setting a timer on your watch, trying to figure out when it's <laughs> going to get done. You don't have to be presentable to go check yeah. my laundry. <laughs> yeah, have like rolls of quarters everywhere yeah. or deal with the credit card yeah. thing that I you I know get. for most people, it's a weight issue yeah. to not have it in the RV, but I, we would not have full-timed if I could not have had it. Yeah. I wouldn't have done it. That may sound snobbish, but... <laughs> I would not have done oh, it. Oh, I'm not going to RV without my washer and dryer. <laughs> but I need certain conveniences still yeah. to enjoy myself. So yep. that's a must. So those are our three most used items in our RV. Mm -hmm. Leave us a comment. Let us know what your top three are or whatever you use the most in your RV. And don't forget, after you watch this video, pop over to all the other collaborators yeah. and make sure you watch them. Thank you, Cody and Angela, for joining us yeah. as the guests this month. We really appreciate it. And stick around for just a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.